Good afternoon and welcome to Lunchtime Talks. My name is Angela Anthony and I'm the Communications Director for Helms Bakery District, an outdoor center featuring furniture and design showrooms, restaurants, and specialty shops. Typically we host 10 or so events a month in person, including panel discussions, art exhibitions, and workshops. So instead, we're testing the virtual landscape and bringing art, architecture, and design experiences to your home, office, and most recently, for street side viewing, projecting out on the Helms Design Center entrance. To learn more about what's happening at the bakery, visit our website and sign up for our newsletter at helmsbakerydistrict.com. Today, we're touring Studio 203 with artists Anissa Shamey and Monica Lloyd, who will share information about their most current collaboration, The Sketchbooks, plus a sneak peek at their studio. Stay tuned, and thanks for joining us. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'm Anissa, and Monica's with me, and we're really excited to share uh, more about our collaborative project we've been working on for pretty much this whole year, um, which was really fun, and uh, we'll go into that later in the program. Uh, so really quick, thank you so much to Angela and Helms Bakery District for having us here. Um, we're, we're excited to be here uh, in this virtual way as part of their programming. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll start off with a little bit about Studio 203, where our collaborative exhibition and project is. Um, so Studio 203 is a place that my husband, Grant Zizzo, and I uh, work at, and we also host exhibitions. We collaborate with other artists. We have done a few events that are virtual, right, because of the pandemic. Um, and yeah, we've, we've been in this space for about a year, uh, and we'll see what happens next. Um, and then a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm an artist. I work primarily with fiber and textiles, uh, and a lot of my work is reclaimed or recycled or upcycled textiles. Um, and some of the fabric that you'll see in this project actually came from Monica's day job. Uh, some samples, and uh, yeah, let's let's switch it to Monica and see what she has to say. Hi, I'm Monica Lloyd, and um, I am an artist here in Los Angeles. Um, it was a really cool experience to be able to do this collaboration with Anissa. Um, so thank you to Anissa and Studio 203, and also to Helms Bakery. Um, I am an artist here in LA, and I also work during the day as a textile designer at a local fabric company. Um, and as Anissa mentioned, um, a lot of the scraps that we generate um, that might end up in the trash, I've given to her. And we can talk about that more as we get into the installation. Um, but I like to make mostly drawings. And then I've also branched into collage lately um, and also textiles. It's kind of cool to see how my day job has impacted my art. Um, yeah. And how yeah, definitely. I, I totally agree. Um, a lot of your collage work looks very similar to the textiles um, that I've seen you, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, show like the pattern design that you've done on the computer and that type of a thing. Um, and in person, it's hard to distinguish, right? Like, is it actually woven or is it, you know, just an illusion? Um, it's really nice. So if we could go to the video um, of the exhibition, that'd be great. Um, and then we can talk a little bit about it. Uh, yeah, so this is a little video of what the space currently looks like, our, our exhibition space. Um, you can see the two sketchbooks here on the table. Those are the, the, the ones that we worked on for a few months um, and that really inspired uh, the work that then came out of it, like these pieces that are being shown, um, and this beautiful piece by Monica, uh, and just playing with the idea of recycling materials uh, and making, giving it new life and, and figuring out new ways to, to share, right, to share ideas that we have, um, our observations on culture, um, yeah. Hey, Monica, do you want to share a little bit about the sketchbooks first? Um, we can chat about that. Yeah. So that was a 
a really exciting project. We each, both Anissa and I, each started a different sketchbook. Um, Anissa started with an existing book that um, she altered, and then I started with um, a blank sketchbook. And we each sort of began those and then started trading them back and forth probably about once a month. So we traded them back total probably five or six times. Um, and each kind of, as we went back and forth, we added on top of each other's work. Um, Anissa used a lot of the pages from the magazines and the books, and I did a lot of drawing. And um, mm. it was cool to see how our work interacted together and what kind of, you know, what I could could see from Anissa's work and what I could take away from that. And um, yeah, it was cool to kind of go back in after working on them for a little while and see um, what had happened to the different pages. And it, it was interesting because it sometimes was hard to distinguish which parts we each did because it sort of blended together so seamlessly. Definitely. Um, oh, I totally agree. Um, could we go to some of the photos of the, of the sketchbooks? Um, yeah, it was really fun, like you said, Monica, to see what you had worked on after, like, I put something on the page, or just, like, even when the blank page um, just had your work on it, and, and I would be so inspired um, by, the, by the mark making that you would do, uh, by the choice of colors that you had, right? Like, um, we really got into a nice rhythm, and I think... We, our, our styles and our ways of working blended so nicely together um, mm -hmm. with these details, right? So you can kind of see uh, the white mark making that Monica did on top of some of the magazines that I uh, cut up or, you know, tore up and put in the pages. And then this beautiful, right, like strips of paper and then um, more of that drawn line. Um, yeah, so I, I feel like we had a, a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Um, I'm assuming you did too, Monica. But um, yeah, I think this helped me open up a lot more uh, and play, right? Instead of sitting down and being like, okay, I have to make this piece. Um, it has to look perfect and beautiful and like someone has to buy it and you know, all those things that kind of um, are associated with uh, a finished piece of work rather than a sketchbook or um, you know, just idea making in general. Um, and I know like uh, in some of our conversations previously, we've talked about how like the sketchbook is a really intimate thing um, and like working on such an intimate uh, piece of art, right? Where it's like the piece is unfinished and then we're giving it to someone else who is then like working more on it and not necessarily finishing it. Um, but it was definitely this like place of um, being vulnerable and being open to like uh, what you would do um, instead of like oh these are all of my ideas and what I want to do with the image or you know uh, layer this or um, you know that type of a thing. So um, I, I feel like we both worked really well together in that capacity. Um, do you have any thoughts? Yeah, I agree. I think that working in the form of a sketchbook, it it is more vulnerable, I feel like. And I think maybe that is because it's um, it's it's less thought out and more playful. And so it's kind of, it just sort of flows out and then, um, mm. and then you kind of trade it back and forth and see what comes from that. Um, and I think it also, I agree with Anissa, helped me to be a bit more playful. And I tend to be much more focused on, you know, these perfect lines and, mm. you know, sort of precise um, textures and cutting with scissors. And I think um, seeing the way that Anissa worked also helped me to, I loved the way that she ripped the papers and mm -hmm. like what, like seeing which images she chose um, to work with and then how she created different shapes. Um, yeah, they just like really flow together. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Avoid seeing yeah, definitely. you work. Yeah. yeah, I totally agree. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, but just building on that, like, um, we, we both work uh, as abstract artists, um, right? And we're very drawn to 
collage as a medium, which is why I think we decided to collaborate first with the sketchbooks, right? Um, we both have this affinity for a collage sketchbook. Um, and so it, it felt like a natural way to get together and to blend our voices. Um, Cause we had been talking about working together for like a year or two, I think. Um, and, and yeah, so this is really born out of, you know, uh, just let's play and have fun and make art, right? Um, and when we started this, it was back probably in March of this year, February of this year. Um, so like really before everything started tumbling, you know, uh, in, in uh, 2020, right, with like the pandemic and all the shutdown and um, all of that type of a thing. So having this like this project and and making space for the project and like remembering that making art is enjoyable um, and that you know it's not always work um, it doesn't necessarily need to be perfect um, it's just nice to like sit down in front of materials and like get it on the page right um, mm -hmm. yeah so i i really think we carried that into our exhibition, right? So we had finished the sketchbooks and um, we wanted to do, so, you know, all of the plans this year have been tentative, right? We, we you know, we planned some things and then things had to change and be vo virtual like this. Um, and so we really felt passionate about uh, still filling the space physically, um, but then also offering like an online version of the exhibition, uh, which is still coming to our website. So uh, that will be released soon. Um, but also, uh, you know, just expanding on the sketchbook, the freedom that the sketchbooks gave us, right? Like I, I feel like I was so inspired after finishing it um, to just keep creating imagery. And so I was really eager to go back into um, the medium that I had previously been working in, which is uh, the reclaimed fabric, the fabric scraps that uh, Monica had brought me from her, from her day job uh, and just playing with, you know, making collages and appliques out of that um, and just really going forward with that. Um, and I think let's go to the exhibition photos and, and kind of do like a little play by play. So you can kind of see um, if you come to the space um, or if you see the exhibition online, uh, you can see there's kind of two distinct nooks. Um, yeah, so you can see in this image like the left side and the right side, right? So we really um, established the left hand side um, as more of before the sketchbooks, right? Before we came together and collaborated. Um, like our, our voices uh, before we loosened up and started playing and remembering art is fun, right? Um, so you can see Monica and my piece, uh, Monica's beautiful work uh, on the right hand side, the middle and the two ones on the right um, and then my piece on the left. Um, and they really speak to each other, right? So my piece is made out of fabric. Uh, Monica's is more traditional collage, but it looks like textile, right? Um, like it just, it looks printed on fabric, which is so beautiful. Um, but yeah, do you want to talk a little bit about your process before, Monica? Yeah, I think um, with those first collage pieces, mm. it really actually was an, a, a new way of working for me um, because I usually draw mostly. Um, and I was getting to a point where I was like, I need to kind of loosen up and branch out. And so mm. I had collected um, sort of a box of all these scraps, um, you know, lists, receipts, magazines, documents, um, old prints that I had um, and kind of held on to these and then decided to start working with them and, and cutting them and um, arranging them. And it kind of took a while to sort of get into the flow of that. Um, but those first collage pieces are from that um, sort of trying to find a new language or a new way of working. Um, mm. And I think, I think um, with those, I was more focused on making a real specific composition. And I think I 
which before the sketchbooks, I think the sketchbooks helped me to loosen up a little bit and sort of be more playful um, mm -hmm. than before the, before the sketchbooks, I think I was a bit more focused on creating a good composition and mm. um, making sure it looked neat. And, uh, but I think that the sketchbooks kind of, after that, opened it up and kind of, yeah, provided like different ideas or ways, um, mm. I guess, opened the door to new ways of mark making and um, cutting and ripping and collaging and layering. Um, totally. Um, yeah. If you could go back to where we see both sides of the gallery, I really want to share. <clears throat> so you can kind of see that distinction a little bit. It's, it's kind of a far away uh, photo, but you do see like a little bit looser on the right side, right? So the Mo Monica's work on the right hand side um, and then on the left close to the door. Um, but I totally agree. Um, I think you definitely took more chances or not more chances, but like your mark making definitely changed a little bit more. Um, and I feel like there's more space in between um, like shapes and layers and it looks looser and more expressionistic instead of uh, like you planned, right? Um, so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, um, all right. And then could we go to the, uh, the after the sketchbook side. Yeah, okay, so then this is Monica and my work living in the same space, right? Um, so after we, after we did the sketchbooks, we kind of went back to our mediums, right, that uh, we had been familiar with. And um, again, Monica went back to the really beautiful like tactile way of doing collage and then I went back to a different type of tactile collage right um, and I guess I I'd like to talk a little bit about my process as well um, or did you want to did you want to continue Monica what what do you feel um, do you feel uh, no, I think uh, you can Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, because I do want to talk about that really big, beautiful piece of yours, um, but we have more close-ups on that piece. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I, right, we both work in, in these reclaimed, recycled materials, um, and I'm really drawn to using graphic images and then rearranging them and, and figuring out how to layer and get like a ton of depth and detail and like create these really cool worlds, um, which I feel like you do also, Monica, in, in a, with the different medium, but um, I feel like we are both saying very similar things. Um, and, and a lot of the time my goal is also to make a composition, right, that makes sense um, that's also balanced, um, or that's also beautiful, right? I just, I want to make pretty art. I want to make something, uh, that someone can stand in front of and, and just feel peaceful or, um, just, you know, lose, lose themselves in it, uh, which I think is another, which is probably the main reason, actually, I should say, um, that I wanted to make more of an installation type piece, um, because you can see, uh, from the from the other side, right? The sketchbooks before the sketchbooks, right? My pieces were about 18 by 24, um, so you know, medium size. Uh, it can fit on a table while I'm working, um, and then really, I I wanted to you know immerse myself in in this type of work. So working larger than my body. Um, and taking up, right, this whole wall uh, in the gallery, which is about 17 feet um, wide, and then the ceiling height is about nine feet. Um, so it's, it's really, I guess, meant to kind of engulf the viewer, but also, like, not meant to scare you away. I, I, I tried to create these different little pockets, right? So, like, the left side is a portal and the right side is a portal, the center is a portal. Um, and then playing with uh, more three-dimensional uh, 
like three dimensionality, right? And, and bringing in like foam scraps. Um, and you can see like the little triangle shapes or the little like uh, half, half uh, moon or, you know, like those fun little um, stone, Stonehenge looking things. Um, and just covering them with the re reclaimed fabric um, and playing with, okay, so the fabric on the front versus the side, you know, versus, uh, versus it on the bottom um, as like a shadow uh, and just playing with like how much, I mean, how much fabric can I use, right? So it doesn't go to the trash, um, but also like how, how far can I push the layering and, and um, the composition, but um, like Monica said, right, um, I found myself also loosening up and wanting to uh, create grander gestures than like these tiny details. Um, and I think going larger helped a lot with that because um, doing tiny details at such a large scale is very difficult because it takes a long time, right? I hand stitch everything together, so that would take probably years and years, or you know, I'd have to have a team with me to, to um, sew it all together in a timely manner, I guess. Um, but yeah, um, I, I really enjoyed working larger, and then I know you decided to work larger as well, Monica, and I'd love to hear more about um, that process. And also, um, I don't know if we have photos of the like quilt piece that you made, but also talking about like the modularity of that piece, right? So like working on these set squares and then arranging them on the wall, like as an installation themselves. Um, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with, um, yeah, like Anissa said, I think it felt cool to go from working in the small sketchbook to working, you know, something more life-size. It definitely changes the experience from you know, doing tiny and working so small to be able to use your body, you know, to, like crouch down and stand up and, you know, glue, like, paint the glue on. And um, uh, it's just a different experience, different, and it feels bigger. Yet. And yeah, I think I've always been in how Anissa uses reclaimed fabric and material. And so, and it's like, it kind of, it's cool to like be able to re, um, give these old scraps a new life. Um, and with this bigger piece that I did, um, I use, again, a lot of the scraps that I had, like old prints, old uh, lists or documents papers that I have, I've enjoyed painting textures on those painting. I had one image, of, I use a lot of images from nature or cool image, sort of line the, that sort of pace that they use to like, um, and I kept coming back to that a reference. Painting that shape over, layering, taking layers away, adding and stepping back, and um, yeah, I think really create a sense of like history and yeah, you can kind of if you step up close to it, you can see in certain spots where the parts of the right. layers below. Right. Um, could we actually go to uh, the photos of? the larger piece um, and then also the details so we can um, kind of see like the layering that Monica's talking about and like the swooping. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and also the, the pieces that I've been using, I think I've been thinking a lot about fragmentation and how there's, um, you know, all these little, little scrap pieces that had a life before, but it kind of becomes a separate separate little tidbit, um, separate kind of from the whole or the bigger context of things. And I've been equating that to sort of the way that we um, interact with information and technology nowadays. And we just get so many um, sort of scraps or um, fragments thrown at us. Um, and so I think this process of collage is kind of therapeutic in a way where 
you're kind of making something new from all those little tidbits. Um, and totally, yeah, yeah totally. Um, and I think it's very evident in this piece um, that we're looking at right now. Uh, and remind me again, it's it's about four feet by six feet. Is that correct? Um, yes, it's forty two by sixty three. So like five, ooh. three and a half by. Five. Yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful to see in person um, because it definitely interacts um, with, like, the the viewer interacting with the piece, is, like one on one, right? Like you're really you're really inside the piece when you're in front of it, um, which I really love. Um, yeah. But I think that modularity, right, is, is definitely seen, the fragmentation, right, is definitely seen in your work um, with this piece and with the quilt piece. Um, let's go back to the, to the overall view and, and talk a little more about that quilt piece. Um, and so I, I understand that those two pieces on the left-hand side that you created, um, they came after the sketchbooks, right? And so I feel like they're essentially similar ideas, but def like different um, different construction, different forms. Um, so do you do you mind talking a little bit about like the decision to do um, one large uh, contiguous piece, um, and then you know doing these smaller uh, pieces that then come together on the wall as a larger piece. Yeah, um, so those pieces, I I had the idea of wanting to do sort of smaller collages, but then see how they, how I could collage the collages together, kind of. Yes. Um, oh, I love so, that. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of made these in pieces, and actually a couple of them were part of a bigger piece that I cut up, that I was, it was going to be a bigger piece, and then I thought I wanted to cut it up and see how it looked as part of this collage. Um, and these were, I kind of approached in a similar way to the sketchbook, um, but in a slightly bigger format. And um, I worked much quicker and was, I think it came easier after working on the sketchbooks to be able to um, create these compositions. And then I had fun kind of trying to figure out how they would fit best together. Um, yeah. And... Kind of, I think it's all. It, it was also a good practice to branch out. I think I um, they're a bit more graphic or a bit more bold than some of my other work, and definitely, um, I think I was um, enjoying kind of practicing that that exercise of um, of not being afraid to work in a more bold way. Um, I love that. Yeah, I think it's it's very evident, um, especially, sorry, I'm just looking at it. It's right over here <laughs> next to me. Um, and I think that's definitely evident um, with these two new works. Um, so I think let's wrap it up uh, and maybe talk about where you want to go next with this um, and like what, what may be next for you art making wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I I really enjoyed the the sketchbook collaboration and working with you and learning from you. Um, and since I enjoyed that sketchbook collage process so much, I've kind of been thinking about doing trying out more books. And I like that yeah. format because of the intimate um, experience that someone has just you know looking through the book. Um, totally. I'm curious what it would be like to scan some collages um, or drawings and sort of arrange them into a book, um, maybe with some sort of loose narrative or um, some words here and there. So that's kind of my next goal or my next idea to play around with. I love it. I love that. Um, and yeah, I'd like to also say um, I've learned a lot from you as well. Uh, and I think... Um, yeah, moving forward, I definitely want to keep the sketchbook in my practice um, as a more consistent thing instead of like a once in a while project, which is what it's been for a little bit. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, I personally think um, I'll be doing more three-dimensional objects. I still have a lot of weird foam shapes and a lot of fabrics. So I'm <laughs> um, just kind of seeing where that goes. Um, I really enjoy like um, sitting down and assessing, right, like a, an object um, and then, and then uh, dressing it essentially and then like seeing how that fits into a larger picture. Um, but yeah, uh, so I don't know about you, but uh, I feel like, you know, we're, we're good to go. Uh, I really enjoyed sharing with everyone. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thank <laughs> uh, you for listening and thank you for yeah, having the conversation with me, Nisa. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, thanks, Monica, for being here. Um, and we're really grateful to Helms for having us. Um, it's very exciting to have this project uh, kind of be in this final stage, right? And um, we've been working on it for a few months, uh, and it's nice to share with other people. So uh, if you want to see it in person, please go to our website, uh, thestudio203.com. Um, and uh, you can make an appointment. Uh, we're by appointment right now, very small groups. Um, it's not a very large space. So, um, yeah, uh, I think we're going to say goodbye now and uh, hope everyone had a good lunch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thank you.